Mike Quincy, Higher Self, 16th of September 2016. Website, Tree of the Golden Light. It would seem that matters relating to revaluation have now reached the point where all G20 countries involved are now ready to go ahead. It is simply a matter for those placed in charge to arrange the changeover, so that it is carried out in a coordinated way. It will be the first historic step towards creating peace upon Earth. There is still quite a way to go before total peace can be declared, and every country will know that having signed up for peaceful coexistence, they break it at the risk of being banished from the Earth. So rejoice as the long wait is almost over and a peaceful future is assured for you and those who will follow. You may wonder how the remaining dark ones can be restrained, but be assured that troublemakers will be removed from the planet, and placed where they can no longer interfere with the planned changes upon Earth. It is possible that many of the dark ones' minions will surrender and no longer represent a danger to the populace. As the new Earth rises up, it will be no place for any dark souls or their negative actions. Very soon the many delayed projects that will lift up the earth, can commence and bring into being the welcome changes that are going to take you full speed into the new age. Many speculate as to what may happen in the race for the White House, now that doubts are being expressed about the health of Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump does not seem keen to become president and Bernie Sanders is waiting in the wings. Suddenly the situation looks uncertain, as Trump was closing in on Clinton having recently experienced a sudden surge in support. Certainly the Illuminati must be extremely worried, as the way events have turned against them. Be assured that whatever happens the light will be victorious and nothing will prevent their onward march to victory. There is no doubt that as the vibrations lift up more people are awakening to what is going on with the result that they are beginning to ask questions whereas previously they accepted what they were told. For example 9-11 has never gone away, and more proof is being made known that it was a planned demolition by the Bush family. It was always expected that at the end of the old cycle, much would be revealed that would bring the truth to the surface. There has been speculation for a very long time as to who was behind 9-11. But now the evidence is undeniable and those responsible will be brought to justice. No one can escape having to face the truth. When you have a life review, no one wishes to pin you down, but if you have made mistakes they must be acknowledged. You can then discuss your future actions with your guides, with a view to having further experiences to overcome your shortcomings. However as you are at the end of a cycle, Depending on their nature your mistakes may not incur karma, and the law of grace invoked. As stated previously, the point of a life review is not to punish you for mistakes, but to agree a way through further experience that will help you overcome them. Bear in mind that all experience is of value, and if your path takes you longer to ascend it makes little or no difference. You have all infinity in which to succeed and no one will pressurize you to make quicker progress, but certainly give you every help. Your guides have gone through such challenges before and are well experienced to assist you. Call on them anytime you need help and they will be pleased to be at your service. There are two main paths that are carrying people onwards. One is restricted to the lower vibrations as it tries to create a path through the turmoil and problems within the third dimension. Another path makes headway to the higher vibrations through the power of the light, as it grows stronger and stronger. The two cannot continue in opposition and eventually only the light will remain, and succeed. Already it is forging ahead as more souls awaken and can see through the charade that is taking place. The truth lies within and those who can intuitively sort out the positive energies, from the dross will certainly make progress. You will be able to identify those souls you can trust, and follow their dictates to set out your path. You will be given every encouragement to find your true pathway. Once found you should make quick progress in your preparations for ascension. 
as always you will be helped to overcome any problems that may arise. If something feels right then you may be sure that it is. Identify with those souls who by their work can be seen as of the light, and follow their advice or teachings when you need help. At this time many souls are being used to spread the light and love. With your experience you should be able to identify those who are teachers for the new age. The many changes that are waiting to be announced will soon be upon you, and will not be allowed to be interfered with by anyone. The mold has been set, and all is ready to go ahead, however minor changes can take place by way of adjustment. What is going to occur now you are in the time of what has been called the harvest of the souls, is your ascension into the higher vibrations. You have traveled far and experienced many lives as you have awoken from your long sleep in the dark night of the soul. As you stand today you are one who has lifted yourself up and able to discern that which is of the light, from that which has remained in the dark. The media is still largely in the control of those who support the dark ones. But again there are changes being planned so that a truthful and reliable new service is available. Providing you are discerning, for the time being your internet is the best source of news, as it gives you a reliable update as to what is happening in the world. You tend to look at the West for your information and it is currently your best source. But as the truth is uncovered it will go worldwide, and ultimately all souls will become aware. It is so important that all of you who have found the way forward, concentrate on all that is positive. By doing so you give your power to the energies that are bringing the changes into being, and it cannot be stated too many times that what you focus on you give your energy to, even though it may not be your intention. The light has won the day, yet you should not ease back from maintaining a positive position. There is much to be done and very soon many of you will be called upon to take up a prominent position concerning the changes. I leave you with love and blessings, and may the light continue to brighten your days and path to completion. This message comes through my higher self. In love and light. Mike Quincy